So I invite you to take a comfortable seat of practice. So anything that you need to do to move or shift your body into comfort is the first step. So either seated or laying down, both are welcome here. And visioning can be really powerfully practiced when laying down. And if you have a vision that you're working with, and I'll explain more what visioning is, practicing it often can be so helpful for keeping that mindset, that heart set in a direction of that unified vision. And so vision really is about tapping into what is seeking to emerge in and as through you. So when we tap into vision, we're really connecting to something that's seeking to express, seeking to be born, to be created through your unique experience. And so as you settle into the practice, just know that there's nothing that you need to do. We're really opening more to receptivity here more to tuning in to listening and welcoming softening the gaze or closing the eyes if that's available for you take a nice deep breath in through the nose fill the belly and then exhale to soften and release Couple more of those, inhale through the nose. Exhale, soften and release. One more. Exhale, release. So as you begin to settle into your body for today, Tune in with where you are at in this moment. So feeling into your body, noticing any sensations or feelings that are drawing your attention. You might notice areas of tightness or constriction, or it might feel really good open, warm in other areas. So simply turning that watchful eye, that observing eye inward and noticing what is present for you here. And tune in with your emotional state so notice what emotions are present for you in the moment, knowing that emotions shift and change and express as you move through your day. So what's present for you now might change or shift in an hour or even in a minute. So I'm noticing for myself right now, there's a little bit of nervousness and excitement and hopefulness gratitude. So just tune into your own unique emotional experience. And inhale to draw those emotions up into your heart space. So as you inhale, draw those emotions up to your heart and you can lift your hands to heart too if you'd like. So placing hands on heart, either in prayer or hand over hand. Exhale to soften into the heart. And as you inhale, let it be easy. So inhale through the nose, drawing your emotional experience towards the heart. Gathering emotion, gathering energy into your heart space. And as you gather emotion into your heart, welcome in also 
unconditional love. Welcome in kindness, compassion, gratitude. Starting to feel all of the emotions that you were experiencing mixed and alchemized through the energy of love. So feeling everything move and swirl and fill into your heart space as unconditional love fills and warms your heart. So keep that breath going as you amplify and grow the feelings and experiencing of unconditional love. So continue to feel into this space of unconditional love and throughout the practice, remember that this exists, that you've cultivated this safe space. And what we do now with this unconditional love really filling our experience is we start to tune into vision. And so we place questions of inquiry before the intuitive faculty of our mind. So the question that I invite you to ask yourself is, what is the highest vision seeking to express in, through, and as me? What is the highest vision seeking to express in, through, and as me? And now breathe into your heart. So continuing to amplify that unconditional love and receive. Listen and receive the answers. What is seeking to express in, through and as me? Another way to put this could be, what am I feeling called forward into? What am I feeling called forward into? Can you continue to breathe and continue to receive? You might receive information by way of images or thoughts, words, experiences, memories. Whatever it is that is calling you forward, welcome it in now. You might see a person that you're meant to connect with. You might notice something that you have been working on coming to full fruition. You might feel into the energy of abundance around finances or family or relationships. Anything is possible here. We really take our time here so that we can create this safe space for our vision to begin to unfold. So continue to breathe into your heart, amplifying unconditional love and welcome in the fullness of your vision. Welcome in what is calling you forward, what is seeking to express in, through and as you.
Keep breathing. Really starting to feel into the energy of this fully expressed vision. Knowing that vision is continually evolving and expressing through you. It is co-creation with divine, also called divine ideation. So you are a unique expression of this whole. And you are being called forward now to share, to step into this highest vision. You are so important. You are so needed. Start to feel into the energy of this power. Now let's start to inquire further into this vision by cultivating the conditions for its highest expression. So continuing this breath, as we breathe in through the nose, we fill the heart with unconditional love. And as we exhale, we soften, we bring ease and grace and gratitude and we place another question before our intuitive faculties. And the question is, what qualities must we cultivate in order to manifest this vision? What qualities must we cultivate within ourselves to manifest this vision? So what I mean by this is imagine you're feeling called forward into speaking on a stage. One of the qualities that you'll want to really cultivate is confidence in speaking in front of people, you know, clarity in messaging. So there's always a growth edge with every vision. There's always qualities that we need to really support and bolster in order to stretch into this furthest expansion of self. What are yours? What qualities must we cultivate to manifest this vision? Continue to breathe into your heart space and receive. Remembering to draw in universal love into your heart. And anytime you feel emotion in your body, also draw that into your heart space to be alchemized. Oftentimes as we stretch into the edges of our vision, there could be a little bit of nervousness, uncertainty. We're stepping beyond the known. And so it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. So it's really important that we draw it into this energy of unconditional universal love. A few more breaths here. Good. And now we invite another question of inquiry in. Next question is, what must we let go of to manifest this vision? What must we let go of to manifest this vision? Breathing into the heart space, in through your nose. 
Welcoming in unconditional love, exhale to soften. What must we let go of to manifest this highest vision, seeking to express in, through, and as us? What is it that you have been holding on to that no longer serves? Are there beliefs, relationships, choices, commitments? What is it time for you to let go of? Do a few deep breaths into the heart space. So inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, release. Another one. As you exhale, imagine you releasing what no longer serves. One more. And one more question that we'll place before the intuitive faculty of our mind. What qualities do I already possess that will serve this vision? So tune into the abundance that already exists within you. What qualities do I already possess that will serve this vision? Inhale to breathe this question into your heart. Exhale, soften and receive. Really start to tune into all of the abundance that already exists within you. All of the many ways that your experience has brought you to this moment in preparation for this next step of your evolving, emerging vision. Continuing to breathe into your heart, inhaling through your nose and amplifying this universal love into your heart space. And my invitation to you now, if you feel ready, is to speak to your vision, to confirm, to affirm your vision by speaking yes to your vision. It can be internally or out loud. Offering your vision confirmation and affirmation that you are all in. Now, we tune into the energy of gratitude in our heart space. Gratitude for the vision and for all of the many supports, insights, gifts, people, experiences that we've been gifted to help us manifest this vision, knowing that it truly is in service to all. Offer gratitude, thankfulness, knowing that when we say thank you, we invoke the energy of completion, affirming that it is already done. When we say thank you, we say these words when we are appreciating what has already been accomplished, 
what has already been experienced. So when we invoke gratitude with our vision, we are reminding ourselves that the vision is already in its fullest expression now. That all we must do now is walk the path in gratitude. Let's take three deep breaths to close the practice together. So inhale through the nose. Exhale to release. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it all out. Inhale. And as you exhale, feel yourself grounded. Rooted down. So wherever your body is touching the earth below, the chair, the support, really feel yourself connected energetically down to the earth. And from this grounded space, start to experience and feel the edges of your body. Coming back into this physical experience and starting to visualize the space around you. So visualize both your body in space, so where you are, what position you're in, the colors and shapes and forms around you. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back into this space. Thank you for practicing with me today.